Uh, the question is if how good the token sale went. I think um, just the fact that we sold out in seven minutes means like it, it went very well. We did have some some challenges uh, right in the middle, but nothing major in terms of like nothing really went wrong. Just like we didn't expect it to go like that that crazy. Uh, you can actually uh, check it out on our YouTube channel. We have a vlog of the entire day from the morning, like midnight, to the token sale. I think there is uh, maybe maybe two interesting things. One is particular about our business because what we do is we, we allow users to spend any cryptocurrency in the real world. So we decided to not only accept Ether or Bitcoin, but we think I think we had like 20, 25 different cryptocurrencies that we accepted uh, during the token sale. And um, that was a challenge in itself. So for practical reasons, it would have been way easier to just pick one. Um, yeah, I think that's that's one of the things. And the other one is like, it's probably still happening. It was really strong during the time when we did the token sale. It's just like combating all the, the fraud and scams. So we had an entire team dedicated just to make sure that our uh, users and token holders are safe. And I think that's that's probably one of the biggest successes we had. We had in total, maybe a few hundred dollars were lost compared to the $80 million that were raised, uh, which um, for me is, a, is a really a, an achievement. We d I think we did marketing. We did not spend much money on marketing because uh, the, the way the, the crypto community works is still like, we just interact, we're just there. So the most important thing for our token sale is just to be there, to, to have a channel where people can reach us from Twitter to like we were super active on Slack. And then um, keeping those under control that there is nothing like, there's no, no people getting scammed on our own uh, social media channels. Our product is doing great. Uh, I think one of the channels, challenges we have right now is really scaling it. It's like we're doubling the, the active carts every few weeks, which uh, means we have to scale the back end, we have to scale the processes. So things are going really, really good. I think um, one of the biggest things we had it previously on, on the uh, panel as well is like, what you're actually doing with a token sale is, is building a, a community, a community money, and you have to really think about um, how do you serve that community? Is it is it your product? Is it something else? And then how do you engage that community? How do you get them to interact with you? And uh, this is something which we actively did, but it completely surpassed my own expectations and how much we can actually learn from that community that we have now. So during the token sale, we had um, 4,000 um, token holders that came in and now it's I think close to 50,000 different people and they are pretty much all vested in, in 10x. They, they follow everything we do, they give us feedback, they test, they're like our early beta users um, and that's where you really get the benefit if you, if you really leverage that. I, I would try for that question focus more on like the why these token sales exist in the first place and it's pretty much a disruption of, of venture capital um, because it allows like you don't have those middlemen anymore that that need to be asked first like where you had only accredited investors in, in traditional venture capital now you you can just have anyone invest anywhere for anything and it's it opens up the market like uh, I think over this year alone we had more money raised in token sales than uh, VCs did in the same time frame so I mean the other side is happening too so it's, it's happening on all levels while the banks coming in for them I think it's much easier it's just profit it's like there is a need there is people who want to invest and they're catering to that need